Hi, I'm John Holden. And I'm Andrea Ocampo. Welcome to Earth. times a day do you breathe? 15 breaths per minute? That's just shy of 22,000 breaths over 24 hours. So it's safe to say air quality is hugely important for our well-being. We're aware of the importance of good air quality in the great outdoors. But what about indoors? Over the last years, COVID-19 has made us rethink how we view clean air indoors. But the truth is, it was widely important even pre-pandemic. Breathing unhealthy air at work can be dangerous, but it's also preventable. Let's take a closer look. Pollution in indoor work facilities can be several times worse than outdoor air pollution due to the nature of industrial processes and in relatively confined spaces, workers find it difficult to avoid breathing poor air quality. Fortunately, modern industrial air cleaning technologies can eliminate dust and other pollutants at the source before they can interfere with employee health or machinery and goods. We spend 90% of our time indoors, whether that be in a workplace or at home. It's vital that air, the breathable air is good for us, it isn't harming us. And of course, if you improve indoor air quality, you're improving your health, productivity, your comfort, you have better employee relations and a better story to tell about your work environment. It's impossible to define air pollution for any setting because they're all, as I said, different. So it's vitally important that we do assess each individual situation and look at what can be done to improve it. Zender Clear Air Solutions stands for energy efficient products for a healthy and comfortable indoor climate, thus helping to improve the quality of life. We believe that clean air is critical to businesses because it protects their equipment. It also helps them with their image, both in the factory floor and also on the product that they ship out. And most importantly, it protects our employees because bad air quality is breathed in by employees every day. So we want to listen to our customers, we want to be responsive to their needs, and then innovate based on what they're telling us. Given how much has changed in other aspects of life, you would be forgiven for thinking that it's purely the result of the COVID-19 pandemic. That is not the case, however. The subject of air quality extends far beyond the ongoing pandemic. Ensuring proper ventilation in the workplace is no more crucial now than it always has been. Employers in the manufacturing sector face the challenge of protecting the health of millions of workers while actively inside their factories generates air pollutants. Such hazards can cause new health issues, but are especially dangerous to the tens of thousands of manufacturing workers with pre-existing conditions like asthma, or in the worst case, cancer. There are a range of benefits for getting fresh air at the workplace. It can de-stress and help improve your physical well-being. And for businesses, ensuring good air quality for workers is imperative and bottom line priority. Well, sustainability definitely no longer is just a buzzword. Today, I think it's an obligation uh, for small companies, for big companies. I think it's even an expectations from pretty much all our stakeholders, customers, uh, but also our employees, for example, investors. Uh, and they, they demand real impact. And, and I think that's good because it's not just for us, but it's also for the future generations. Air pollution has an impact on every organ of the human body from particulates that affect directly the lungs to the tiny fine particles that go through the bloodstream and can affect every part of the body, including neurological function, to gases like nitrogen dioxide that inflame the airways and trigger asthma attacks. It's vital to assess air pollution and improve it. As it's largely an invisible problem, it's been ignored for too long, but now is a, a real chance to improve everybody's health and well-being. OSHA lists a 
permissible exposure limit for a wide variety of hazardous dust. But what they don't do is publish a list for non-hazardous dust like simply dust, smoke, dirt, pollen. The World Health Organization actually recommends 50 micrograms per cubic meter, but in many indoor environments, it's many times higher recorded. Um, we tend to get called in actually after there's been a fine or a warning, um, and typically it starts by an employee calling in a complaint. So start with cleaner. Uh, we breathe in air every minute of every day, so it's important that, that air is of the highest quality. There is a trend to better indoor environment, sometimes also by legislation, uh, depending on the industry, and to uh, certify your buildings for these kind of standards. Such a air purification system can easily help you to get to these standards. And so obviously we are really a problem solver for these kind of customers. In a competitive business environment, high standards at work will go a very long way to getting noticed. A clean, healthy working environment will help attract the best employees and even new business. At the end of the day, creating a clean workplace with happy employees and increased productivity is easy and affordable if you choose the right solution. Until next time.